these villagers are homeless and mutant creepers are coming to kill them. We need to build a hotel so they have somewhere to stay. Don't worry, guys. I'll build the best hotel for these villagers using dirt. No way, Mongo. I'm gonna use slash slash paste, which will spawn in a way cooler skyscraper hotel for these villagers. Ew, what is that? Uh, it looks like a poop skyscraper. Quick, Ludo. We need to clean this skyscraper up so it looks better than Mongo's. You got it, Axie. Let me get rid of all the dirty blocks with smooth quartz. Wow, that already looks way better, Woodo. But there's still a bunch of yucky spider webs. Yeah, it still looks super dirty, Woodo. Oh, gosh, you're right. Let me just take these cobwebs, and if I do this command, Axie, they'll disappear too. Now our skyscraper is looking a lot cleaner and fancier. It's so beautiful, especially compared to Mongo's little dirt box. Well, Woodo... Right now, your hotel doesn't have anything inside. Where are the villagers gonna stay, huh? Oh, gosh. You're right, Mongo. I need stuff inside of this hotel so that the villagers can survive. Let's go inside the entrance, Axie. It should be right over here. This skyscraper is massive, Woodo. There's gonna be so much space for mud piles and pools and a lot of axolotl hangout spots. Exactly, Axie. Just look at the elevator. It's humongous. But when I want our villagers to come here, I want them to get the luxury VIP experience. So how about I grab some red carpet and we start by building them a nice, beautiful entrance where they can come check in. That's perfect, Woodo. It's just like a real hotel, Axie. And what we can do to make the villagers even happier is place down a nice table and offer them some water welcome drinks and cookies. Wow, I might just eat all of those cookies, though. I don't think you're allowed to do that, Axie. You work at the hotel. Here we go. Let's put some coconut cocktails over here and then some fresh baked delicious cookies. Now, they'll have nothing to complain about. It looks so tasty. Guys, the villagers are gonna have cookies, but can I have some too? Sorry, Mongo. Unless you're a hotel guest, you cannot have any cookies. You know what, Woodo? I've had enough. My hotel is gonna be way better than yours. No, it's not, Mongo, because my check-in counter is going to be the fanciest one ever to exist. Check this out, Axie. If I go ahead and put down a nice cash register over here, this is where the villagers can pay for their rooms. Nice! I get to stay here for free, though, right? Of course you do. But what are you building over here, Axie? I'm building a super cool lounge area so that when the guests arrive, they have somewhere to eat the cookies. Oh, that's perfect. And if they want to relax before they go up into their room, they can. Anyways, now that our check-in counter is here, I can also add a gate to make sure that we don't have any unwanted guests coming inside, a.k.a. Mon. Wodo, are you really saying my name right now? Yup, I don't want you to come inside my hotel and bother my guests, Mongo. So I have to lock away this section to make sure you don't. Oh, yeah? Well, when all the villagers come storming to my hotel because it smells better, it's cleaner, and it's just better for them, you're going to be crying in your little fancy entrance area. Haha, <laughs> that's what you think, Mongo. Anyways, Axie, look at this. Now, when the villagers come in, they can get all the stuff they need and go into their rooms. Let me make another red carpet here, and I'm gonna make it go straight to the elevator because our skyscraper has so many floors. Way more floors than Mongo's will have. Mongo's only has one floor. Can we even call that a skyscraper? No way! Hey, I'm gonna have way more floors. Oh my gosh, Axie. No, he won't. Just look Look at the outside. I think what I also want to do is grab my wand tool, is take this gray wool and instead replace it with lime concrete. So now it'll really be the Wudo Hotel. Wait a second, Wudo. You made all of it green. Where's my part? 
Oh, yeah, Axie. I forgot. You're one of the owners of our hotel, too. So I should definitely have a pink part as well. Well, don't worry about that, Axie. Let me just go ahead and replace the glass to some lime stained glass down there. And now what I can do is I can fly to the tippy top of this skyscraper and select these two blocks so that all the blocks in this area get turned into pink blocks. Yay! I have my own section! Guess what, guys? I'm using red glass for my skyscraper. It doesn't matter how much glass you use, Mongo. Our skyscraper is already looking 10 times better. And I think I know where I want the VIP suite to be, Axie. Check out this big room in the middle. It has like two floors, which should be perfect to put down some really VIP stuff. Whoa, this is perfect, Woodle. But what are our VIP guests gonna expect? Do they want a bunch of mud? No, silly. A bunch of mud would not be what VIP customers want. VIP customers want something fancy, which is why I'm building them a very fancy bedroom right over here. Are you sure this isn't just a bedroom for you, Woodle? Of course not. I want to give them the ultimate luxury experience. And what's more luxury than a big green bed that they can sleep on with a bunch of turtle decorations, of course. Oh, I know what's more luxurious. Oh, gosh, Mongo, what is more luxurious? Instead of a green big bedroom, it should be a big red bedroom. Ew, nobody wants a red bedroom. What do you mean, Wudo? Red is the best color in the world. No, red is the color of stinky people. Exactly, Mongo, I'm sorry, but nobody wants that. Well, then let's let the viewers decide, Wudo. Everyone comment what your favorite color is. My favorite color is green, so everyone comments green. My favorite color is pink because I'm an axolotl, so comment pink. I know everyone's gonna comment red. Nobody's gonna comment red, Mongo. Anyway, Zaxi, check this out. I know something that that stinky Mongo guy doesn't have it's a walk-in closet where we can put down an armor stand so that our vip guests can put down the clothes that they love Oh, cool. Do you think I should give them some clothes to start out with? Of course, Axie. What type of clothes should we put down? I think I know what I want to have in there. It's the super cool green samurai armor. I think they should wear a bikini. A bikini? Are you serious, Axie? I don't know if everyone wants to wear a bikini when they go outside. That's a little bit weird. Yes, they will, Woodle, because we're going to have a massive pool. That is right, Axie, but I'm talking about clothes. How about instead I give them something way cooler, like this blue chainmail armor? It's kind of fashionable, don't you think? Wow, that is fashionable, but Wudo, our guests need clothing, not armor. I think they should wear this instead. This is the peak of fashion. Axie, what in the world is that? Is that armor that's made out of cardboard? It's not armor, Woodle. It's a fashionable cardboard box. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if any guests will wear that. But then again, this is just free for them. So if they want to take it, they can. Anyways, let me go ahead and put some lights so that it's nice and bright in there. And now, Axie, these villagers need another important thing inside their room. And that is a nice kitchen where they can cook some meals. Our villagers are going to have to cook for themselves here? Exactly, Axie. They're not going to eat out all the time because that would be unhealthy. Oh, that's true. And that would also be really expensive. That's funny coming from you, Wudo. You're so fat. What, Mongo? I am not fat. But I know that you're probably going to feed all your villagers a bunch of McDonald's and you're going to make them super fat. No, Wudo. I'm actually feeding them only sushi and fish. Ooh, sushi and fish. That sounds good. I guess we could give them a little bit of a welcome meal, Axie. Check this out. Can you put down some sushi over here that they can prepare? Okay, I'll put down some sushi, Wudo. Leave it to me. I'll put down some fresh fish as well that they can chop up and turn into even more sushi. Check this out. Yummy sushi! 
Wait, what, Axie? What are these things? These look like scary fish. And is this one poison? Are you trying to kill the villagers? No, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, Wudo. Um, nom, 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 nom. Guys, I just realized if you're feeding them sushi, does that mean you're feeding them yourself? Wait, what? I'm not a fish manga. What are you talking about? Oh, Wudo, something's happening. Oh, no, Axie, you got sick. I told you not to eat that poisonous fish. Why don't you come sit over here and I'll give you a golden apple so that you can recover. There you go. The world is spinning. Oh gosh, Axie. Please just eat the golden apple to feel better. After I eat this lionfish. Um, nom, 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 nom. Wait, no, you're just gonna get more sick. Oh no. I can't move. Don't worry, Axie. I'll whip up something in the kitchen to make Make you even healthier let me go ahead and grab a fridge so that i can put them right over here and right next to that i can put a bunch of vegetables like cabbage and broccoli so that i can make a healthy drink that will turn axie back to normal Wudo, hurry! i think i'm gonna die in one minute no I don't know if you're to die, Axie. Quick, if I only have one minute, then I need to work fast. Let me go ahead and grab these blenders to make sure that there is plenty of supply so that I can heal Axie. Here we go, just like this. And now I should be able to make you a green drink that you can drink, Axie. Let me just search up drink real quick. And you know what? Take this creamy corn. It'll help you. This seems really gross, Woodle. Just drink it. Okay, okay. Um, um, num, 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 num. Hey, I'm back to normal. Yay, I'm so happy you're back, Axie. Aw, oh, man, I wish Axie would have stayed sick so you guys would have easily lost. Uh, Are you kidding me, Axie? Mongo wanted you to die. We can't let that happen. Yeah, that's really messed up. Let's go get revenge. We need to prank him really hard, Axie. Come over here. I need to give you this invisibility potion so that you can go invisible. Okay, Woodle. Let's go. I think his hotel should be right around the corner. Let's take a look and wait, what? This is a hotel? This looks more like a castle. A poopy castle. Oh my gosh, this is the best skyscraper hotel in the world. I mean, check it out. I even have this villager working for me. Wait, did you hear that, Axie? Manga wants to make all of these villagers work for him, and I'm not gonna let that happen. What if I just go ahead and spawn in a couple of guests to spook him, Axie? <laughs> Wait a second! Zombies, where did they come from? Oh, Mongo, your guests have turned into zombies! I'm gonna spawn a bunch more downstairs so that they eat your villager, too! Ooh! Oh, no! These zombies are gonna scare away the villagers, and they're gonna go to Muro's poopy hotel! Yes, yes, yes! That's exactly what I'm doing, Mongo! You're so smart, but can you figure out a way to get rid of them all? I don't think so! You know what? I need to use my secret power that Wudo and Axie don't know about. Uh, wait, what? What could that be? He doesn't have a secret power, right? All I need to do is just cast a spell on these zombies. Shabalabadoo, shabalabadoo! And all of them are now dead. What in the world was that magic, Axie? You know what? I'm just gonna spawn in a bunch more, and we need to quickly go back to our hotel, because we can't let that stinky guy distract us. You know what? I just need to take the zombie and just put it inside of Wudo's hotel. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, Mongo, get off of my hotel property. I saw you trying to put a zombie in my hotel. Never come back. Wait, what, Wudo? How did you see me? I have eyes and ears everywhere. Anyway, Zaxi, look at this floor up here. Whoa, what's this place for, Wudo? This is where all the guests from inside my hotel room can come upstairs and enjoy the amazing view. So I think we need some things to go along with it, like a pool. So let me grab some quartz blocks and water so that we can clear out an area where our VIP guests can enjoy the ocean. Yay! I love 
pools Wudo. Check this out. I already have a nice big area made. I just need to set the exterior of it to more quartz, and now it'll look amazing. Do you want to put some decorations down too? I'll put them in a minute after I'm done playing in the pool. Well, you can play in the pool all day, Axie. This is for our guests, remember? Those poor villagers have gone through a lot because they're homeless, so I want to make sure they have a fun place to stay. Check this out. I'm even putting down sand so it really feels like they're at the beach. Okay, Wudo, but I'm going to put a diving board so that all the guests can have fun jumping. Oh, yeah, a diving board would be sick, Axie. I should also clear out this area over here so that I can put some really nice relaxing chairs where they can sit down and enjoy the view. I bet Mongo doesn't have a super nice view like this, now does he? Wudo, that's where you're wrong. At my rooftop, there's a view of your ugly hotel. Ew. I don't want your guests looking at my hotel. They probably all stink. They probably have like 20 diseases, Mongo. Ew. Oh gosh, I need to build some showers then. Axie, look at this. Now the villagers can come here and enjoy everything outside. Isn't that awesome? Oh, it's such a nice view. I might just take a little nap. Bye. Axie, wake up. You can't take a nap. Oh, why not, Wudo? Because, Axie, those mutant creepers will come for the villagers soon. We really need to make sure that they don't attack those poor villagers. So, how about what I do over here that'll be really fun is make a water slide. A water slide? Do we have enough room? Of course we do, Axie. Check this out. Hey, before you guys go any further, it's time for me to cast my spell. Wait, what? What? Mongo, what are you talking about? Nobody wants to hear you and your spells. What do you mean, Wudo? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Shabalabaru, shabalabada. Wait, what? Mongo, you turn into a wizard. And hey, our pool turned into lava. Turn it back right now, Mongo. Nope. If I turn this into lava, then the villagers won't come to your hotel because it's dangerous. And they're going to come to my one because it has a small four by four pool. Mongo, how dare you? That pool looks like a poo-poo pool. Come on, Axie. We need to replace this lava quickly. Don't worry, Woodle. I've been studying Mongo and his spells, and I think I can turn it back. Really? Okay, what spell are you gonna use, Axie? I'm gonna use the Mongo spell. Wait, what? What is that doing? And hey! Our pool just turned into mud. I think your spell was worse than Mongo's. Yay, it worked. Oh, my goodness, Axie. I don't know if that's a good idea. Let me go ahead and set both of these blocks back to water like they should be. And then what I can do is grab a water bucket and finish my water slide. So now you can go up here and straight into the water. Yay. Oh, I like the mud, but this is good, too. But Axie, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty hungry. And after swimming, so will all those villagers. And if they can't cook, they're gonna need someone else to cook for them. So what if I come to this top floor and we turn it into a McDonald's? A McDonald's? Is that really fancy enough for a hotel like this? Of course, Axie. I'm actually just gonna go search for the McDonald's right now. There's so many different foods that we can place down. For example, the McRib, double cheeseburger, and my favorite, McNuggets. So let's build a place to do exactly that. I'm gonna grab some quartz and we're gonna build a cash register where our customers can go and take their order. Cool. May I please have 10 million McNuggets? 10 million McNuggets? That's a lot of McNuggets, Axie. I don't know if that's healthy for you. It is, Wudo. Trust me. Well, I guess I'll put it on the menu. Let me go ahead and put them right over here. And then right underneath them, I can put a cash register. And then also add a pressure plate where our guests can put down their money for us to take. <laughs> Wait. What are we stealing from our guests? 
Of course not, Axie. We're just going to be charging our dumb guests like Mongo a lot of money for McDonald's. Something like 10,000 diamonds if they want to have just a little cheeseburger. Isn't that funny? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. What, Mudo? You know I can hear everything you're saying, right? Um, no, you can't. Anyways, Axie, let me go ahead and grab some item frames over here. And I'm going to go ahead and put down the raw ingredients. For example, some raw bread, tomatoes, cheese, everything that we need to make these burgers so that we can prepare them to be way tastier than whatever food Mongo serves in his hotel. That's right, Woodle. And I'm adding some chairs over here so that our guests can enjoy a nice dinner. Oh, yeah, that's great. Now that I have this cooking area set up, I need a preparing area. So let me go ahead and grab these blocks right over here and set this area simply to prepare all of the McDonald's food. I wonder, Axie, what food is your favorite at McDonald's? My favorite food is the McDonald's milkshake. Ooh, milkshake? That's not a food, though, Axie. That's a drink. If you eat enough of it, it is a food. I think my favorite is the french fries. And I'm even going to build a dedicated french fry area right over here so that we have plenty of fresh, hot french fries for our customers. There won't be any left for the customers by the time I'm done. Wait, what? Axie, you can't eat all the food, silly. Oh my gosh, you know what? While you're there, I might as well also go ahead and put down some delicious drinks for our customers too for example let's go ahead and pick out some more of those coconut cocktails but i also think that they should enjoy some home brew drinks as well like some soda so let me go ahead and put them right over here and then i'll also grab some item frames so that they can pick them out how about some delicious coca-cola axie i would love some delicious coca a cola woodle and that's why i'm gonna drink it all now and eat the table um, num, 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 num. what you can't eat that stuff axie it's not healthy for you that would only be at mongo's hotel because those poor villagers would have nothing else to eat but tables i can eat whatever i want well guess what woodle at my hotel we're gonna have fireworks pew 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 fireworks that's so lame mongo i can have fireworks too you know but i bet you won't have this come on axie how about we build a fun party area over here which will be way more fun than whatever mongo's trying to do right now yeah that's such a good idea woodle what should i make I'm going to place down a giant disco dance floor, Axie, so that all of our guests have a place where they can dance. Do you want to go ahead and build a different type of game, like some arcade machines? Sure. I'll put a bunch of arcade machines over here, and I'll even build a prize corner. That's a great idea, Axie, so that the villager kids can get some prizes. I'm also going to go ahead and grab some speakers over here that I can hang up so the music is nice and loud loud and so that we don't have to hear mongo oh yeah who wants to hear that guy you guys won't hear me anyways because my fireworks are way too loud mongo nobody cares about your fireworks they're so boring no they're not woodo and i bet your party room won't have any fireworks oh it definitely will i'm actually gonna go ahead and grab some right now so now we can have a firework party Whoa, that's sick, Udo. What are you working on over here? How's the arcade coming along, Axie? It's coming along great, Woodle. I'm even making a rainbow sign. A rainbow sign? That's awesome. I guess while you do that, Axie, I'm going to go ahead in this party area and I'm going to place down some dispensers so that we can have those fireworks that Mongo has. That's going to be so fun. Oh, yeah. It'll just be like Mongo's, but 10 million times better. For real, Axie. Let me just put them here and then activate this lever. And now we have fireworks going out. Yay! Yay! 
And I'm done with my sign, Woodle. How does it look? That looks so fun. I think what I'm also going to do is grab some blocks of ice so that we can play bumper cars on this floor. I love bumper cars. It's such a fun game. I know, right? I'm gonna win, though. No, you're not, Axie. Let me just make sure I put some protective fencing over here to make sure we don't get hurt. I bet everyone inside of Mongo's hotel is gonna get hurt though. That place is probably so dangerous. Woodo, I'm gonna have police outside of my hotel to arrest you when you get here. Police officers, Mongo? Why? Are you gonna arrest me for being a better builder? What, Woodo? I'm gonna arrest you for taking all of the customers and serving them that poopy little party room and that poopy food. I don't think it's poopy, Mongo, because we have real bumper cars. Come on, Axie. Why don't you try to bump around with me. Okay, Woodle, I'm gonna bump you. Ouch, boing, you're bumping me too much, Axie. Stop it. Boing, I'm spinning. Boing, boing, boing. Wait, you guys have bumper cars? Yeah, that's right, Mongo, but I bet you can't have them because you're super duper lame and trash. Oh, gosh, I need to add something else. I'm gonna have a trampoline park. A trampoline park? Ha, we can add trampolines too. Check this out, Axie. I'm gonna put them everywhere where there isn't something fun to do. So now you can bounce, bounce, bounce wherever you are. This floor is the most fun ever. I know, right? I wish I could put this inside my house, but this is why the villagers will love our hotel. But Axie, I actually have a surprise for you. You've been the greatest Axolotl friend ever. So now that we're in this pink section. How about you come up here and we build the axolotl room on the very top floor? Wait, really, Woodle? You're gonna help me build my own room? Exactly, Axie. So, how about I go over here and remove all of these gray blocks and we can set them instead to pink wool just for you, Axie, because you're the best ever. Yay! Wait a second, Wudo. Can I please get a room, too? Nope, because you're stinky and lame, Mongo. You don't even like Axie as much as I do. Why would you say that? Ah, uh -huh, Mongo, that's what you get. Anyways, Axie, check this out. Now you have the greatest view on top of our entire skyscraper. But what do you want to add up here? I want to add a lot of stuff. First, I need a huge bed. A huge Huge bed, you got it. Let me just grab some pink real quick. And how about I put the bed right over here along with some really cool pink glass. So now you have a comfortable place to sleep. Oh, that's perfect, Woodle. But I know that sometimes, Axie, you like to live like a true axolotl. So how about I also go ahead and build you something even better, a muddy bed too. A muddy bed? That's that's the best thing I've ever heard of. Let me go ahead and put the mud over here so now you can sit back and relax whenever you'd like, Axie. Woodo, I need more mud. Don't worry. We're going to have a giant mud pile over here, too. This is where you're going to play in the mud and look at the amazing view underneath you because it's so beautiful in my skyscraper and not Mongo's. Hey, Woodo, can you see me? Wait, what happened? Axie, where did you disappear to? I'm right here. Hey, you scared me. I didn't know axolotls could hide in the mud like that. Anyways, Axie, look, I made your mud playing area. Yay, this is all I need in my photo, aside from cake. Exactly, and we're going to put plenty of cake too. Let me just decorate this area by adding some beautiful pink lights. And now I'm going to grab you, your very own cake table with a bunch of exotic cakes, Axie, just for you. Cake! 
Okay. It's gonna be so tasty. Here we go. Now that I have all of those, I can put down a nice pink table just like this and cover it all with the different cakes. Look, there's even a pink cake. That's your favorite color. Yep, and I ate it all. Oh, gosh, Axie. Let me refill that for you. There you go. This is perfect, Moodle. Now I just have to take over the whole hotel and make it like this. Wait, what? Are you kidding me, Axie? I don't want you to do that. Remember, this place is still for our villagers. I just want it to be nice and give you a place to stay, too. And guess what? Whenever you want to come in and out of our hotel, I'm actually going to give you a pink helicopter. So you can do exactly that. Seriously? You're going to let me fly a helicopter? Of course, Axie. Come on. I'll go inside with you. Oh, let's go. You got it, Axie. Let me just take off. And whoa, we're so high up that we even touched the clouds. And now, Axie, look at our amazing hotel from the sky. It looks so awesome. But wait a second. Is it just me or is the helicopter losing throttle? I think we're going to crash into Mongo's. Oh, no. Crash landing. Avoid mission. Oh, gosh. Shit. Ouch. I think we landed on his massive trampoline. What is this, Mongo? Wait a second. How could you guys crash your plane here? This is my fun area where I get to jump super high and see your ugly hotel. Mongo, this is the most massive trampoline ever. I have to say, that is pretty cool. But what about your actual hotel? Did you see all those villagers? They need a place to stay. That's good. Well, as you can see, Wudo, I have my police officers making sure there's no criminal criminals like you. Wait, I'm not a criminal. I think that pink axolotl's a criminal, though. Arrest her! No, don't arrest me! Put me down! Arrest her for being a fish. I'm not a fish, and I won't be arrested. Well then, Mongo, why don't you show us inside your hotel? What is this? This is the food that my hotel serves. A fish, a fish, and another fish. You don't even have a check-in area? Boo, that's so lame. No, Wudo, this villager checks you in, and then you go up to the first room. Wait, what? Axie's already dozing away. Wake up, Axie! I just want to take a nap. There's probably some bugs crawling inside those beds, Axie. I wouldn't go there if I were you. You think so? What do you mean, Wudo? Bed bugs just add flavor. No, they don't. And Mongo, there's a ton of villagers outside. Two beds isn't gonna cut it. Exactly. That's why I have bunk beds in this next room. Ew, Mongo. This looks like it's all poopy. When's the last time you cleaned these beds? And why is there water dripping? It was like three months ago. Ew. But guys, check it out over here. We have my my pool. That's what you call a pool, Mongo? Four blocks of water? Wait, but check it out. The best thing is that you can go on the pool and then afterwards hop in the shower and then do a flip to the trampoline and go super high. Wait, did you just backflip, Mongo? That was sick. Let me jump off of here too and we. Mongo, I have to say, the only cool thing about your hotel was this trampoline because you can admire how amazingly gigantic and beautiful my modern hotel is. So why don't I take Take you in my helicopter over there, Mongo, and show you what a true VIP experience is like. Sure, Wudo, but I doubt your hotel is going to be any better. Come on, Axie. Why don't you explain to him what our hotel will be? Let me just go ahead and position myself and take you right to the entrance, Mongo. Come on, Axie. Be a good butler. Okay, let's see. What in the world does this hotel have to offer? Hey, sir. Welcome to the amazing Voodoo and Axie Hotel. Can I please offer you a welcome drink and a cookie? Oh, of course. Yes, I'll be taking all of it. Nom, 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 nom. Well, thank you very much. Axie over here will help you check in. Hello, sir. 
How long are you planning on staying on this trip? Yes, I want to stay from now until the third. So that's about 30 days. Oh, okay. That'll be three billion million gazillion diamonds. Come on, Mongo. Pay up. What? That price is way too expensive. I want to talk to your manager. Okay, he's right here. I am the manager, Mongo. Pay up now. Um, Budo, you're not really scary. You're kind of cute, if anything. What? Okay, you know what's Mongo? I'm just gonna take you on a tour instead. Just come up here in our elevator, where I will take you up to the VIP Wudo Suite. Are you gonna fly me up the elevator anytime I wanna go to the room? Exactly! Check this out, Mongo. You get a big luxury bed, along with your own mini kitchen where you can prepare fresh food and vegetables but don't forget about our amazing wardrobe where there's plenty of clothes oh i think i like these clothes over here uh mongo you like the bikini then go ahead and wear it i knew the guests would like it let me just put it on and wow i look pretty good well axie i have to say you were definitely right look come on mongo let me take you back up the elevator that's suite actually has an outdoor area too this giant pool where you can go down this big water slide and diving board or you can go over here and do a backflip wow that was sick mongo and look if you just want to relax you can also sit down and look at the giant view just make sure you don't slip off oh Woodo, what's gonna happen if i drop you what's gonna happen if i drop you Bob? Oh, gosh, that was really bad, Axie. Come on, you can't do that, Axie. That's so scary. Anyways, Mongo, why don't you follow me right upstairs where we have food for you to eat? Food? Oh, my gosh. I want some A5 Wagyu beef, please. Well, Mongo, this isn't McDonald's. We have McFries and McNuggets. Oh, gosh, that's so unhealthy. Can I please have a salad? A salad? We don't serve salad. Salad, sir. Well, can I please at least have some fish? Okay, we're serving fish right here. What? I'm not a fish, Axie. How dare you try to serve me to that stinky red guy? Oh, cooked turtle. No, I'm not cooked. Come on, Mongo. Follow me up to this next floor. It's a party area where you can have way more fun than in your hotel. And we can sing. Wait, what? Are you serious? Mongo, look. We even have bumper cars, too. No way. I'm going to beat you, Woodo. Hiya! I'm gonna beat you both! Bump! Oh, gosh! I'm spitting all over the place! I'm losing my mind! Don't worry, Mongo! You can even play on the arcade machines over there if you want to as well! But that's for later, and if you pay up, come over here, Mongo! The most important room of this giant hotel is the one on the very top floor! Come on, Axie! You explain why! Well, this is my personal sweet Mongo. Wow, your sweet looks amazing. Of course it does. I built every single part of it completely alone. Wait, what? I helped you too, Axie. You're the best builder and Wudo sucks at building. Thank you, Mongo. No, I think I'm the best builder. And I think it's pretty safe to say that my hotel skyscraper was better. Well, Wudo, quickly. We need to move the villagers in before the Mew and Mob comes. Oh, gosh. The creepers. They're already here. And they're invading Mongo's hotel. But luckily, I think the villagers are already checking into our hotel, Axie. It's so busy in here. Our Hotel's the greatest ever! Let's go! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye.